Yo, Bootleg Head Podcast, man. Uh, this guy right here, his new his new project is out. He's fresh out. Well, I mean, it's been a few weeks since you've been out. Like three now. Like fresh out from like yeah. after the election, right? Yeah. Yo, the homie Draco, the ruler, is is here. Uh huh. Welcome, sir. Welcome home too, man. Exactly. I've been seeing you everywhere, uh, making all the stops. Yeah. I was just telling TK how impressed I was. We were just talking about just the work ethic, how fast you cranked out a whole project, and it wasn't like it was an EP. Yeah. Like, how, like, like, how, like, first of all, what about two and a half weeks you recorded this thing? I really recorded it in like. Like five days, but it took a little minute to for my engineer to mix everything. Yeah. Were you like when you're locked up? I know you got to be writing, right? Yeah, of course. Every day. Were you getting like, you weren't getting beats though. Nah, sometimes I was listening. I was listening to a lot of beats, but most of the shit I was just writing, like just trying to keep a melody in my head and just writing it. I didn't know that it was just gonna go to most of the beats that I was doing. But yeah. That shit is crazy. So a lot of the records that you wrote, you came out and just applied those to beats that you found. Yeah, basically. That's dope. Like, most of the beats was jig beats, but that's when I did the tape in jail. And then the other shit, I was just like, I wrote it like two weeks before I got out. Help me understand. We know the truth. What are you referring to? What's the truth? I'm the truth. <laughs> that's just we know the truth. Like Then it go down to, you know, everything like, me being in jail, everything I went through, all the people that got on when I was in jail, just everybody know the truth. It's like when I got out, everybody like, oh, yeah, like, it's over for a lot of people. You know, the real is here. I just like, we know the truth. That's why I wanted to, it's, it's interesting because, you know, yourself and Greedo, I feel like, kind of really helped kick off a wave in L.A. Yeah. Um. And I don't think a lot of people, well, like you said, we know the truth. I understand how, what you're alluding to, but I don't think a lot of people um, understand that fully. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's it was it was bad that you know you, you, both of y'all ended up going away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, free Greedo, but uh, now that you're out, you've seen a lot of people pop, right? Yeah, a lot. A lot of people who I'm maybe. Borrow uh, from what you do sonically a, a little bit. A lot of people, <laughs> right? Um, what is what is the like like like? You didn't expect to get out of jail. No, uh, not like that. <laughs> right. So now that you're home, like like, how do you feel about just the the, the landscape of L.A. hip hop from when you went into where it is now? I mean, it's cool because it's a lot of more like young people that's on now, and it's not as many like older people that's like trying to like hog it and shit like. And trying to not, like, put people on. There's more young people now. So I kind of like that because when I was first rapping, like, I was getting into it with all the older dudes because they didn't want to help us out. So when I came to jail, it's like all the people that was, like, under me or, like, you know, like, looked up to me. They all started getting on. So I kind of like it. It's kind of cool, you know. Yeah, there's, like, a whole, like, wave of guys like Rucci, like, what's yeah. J, Chike. Like, there's, like, and also I feel like, too, what's dope about the L.A. scene is for the most part, for the most part, it seems like a lot of camaraderie. Yeah, yeah. I don't. For the most part. For the most part. I mean, it's L.A. You, there, there ain't gonna be a lot. Like, you can't ever say it's a. You know, everyone's cool because it's L.A. There's yeah, politics yeah, and a lot no, of. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But but it feels like you know you'll see Rucci jumping on records with with J like you you see everyone yeah. working together for the most part. Yeah. Um, that's got to feel dope. And then obviously you're you come home. You're like, you're like a lot of these kids OG, which is kind of crazy to say. Yeah. Yeah, cause I'm not even that old, but I'm an old nigga now. Like, in my like my generation, I'm old now. So, I guess. Uh, were you um a like I don't know what were you able to get access to to music and shit while you were locked up? Yeah, I heard I heard a lot of a lot of stuff when I was locked up. Yeah, who that that's popped off since you were in jail? Like, do, do you appreciate their music from from the city? Like, you know, cause there's been a lot. Uh, it's been a short time. It's been three years, right? Yeah, three years. Three years, a lot happened. Yeah, a lot happened. I guess uh, one take J. Uh, I like Bino. Uh, I like Blast. I like. It's a lot of people though. Like there's be so many people. There's like a lot, man, it's a lot. It's a lot of people. I mean, Shoreline and them. They was already proper when I was out. So, uh, I ain't really like. I don't know. It's so many people. It's so many people. Like. I don't know, but those like the main ones that I like. 
Uh, let me ask you this, because when Nipsey died, yeah. it hit the city like a tidal wave I had never seen, bro. Yeah. Bigger than even when Kobe died. Rest in peace to Kobe. Yeah. But you being in jail and experiencing that, you know, whether or not you had a relationship with him, just being from L.A., what was that like, like, like going through a loss like that for L.A., like while you're locked up? Like what was the temperament inside? I mean, it was crazy because I ain't, that was the only person that I could just like be like, all right, that's cool. We still come to the hood and stuff like that. So after that, I was like, yeah, I ain't coming back. Like, I'm not going to be driving the hood doing the same stuff. Like, I'm like, yeah, that could happen to anybody. That was the only person I could say that was doing that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I don't know. That shit kind of had me like, nah, I, I got to stay away when I get out. Yeah, like, it's almost like it, sh it shows you like even like, you know, with all the positivity he was bringing to his neighborhood, yeah. like it didn't matter. Yeah, basically, like, people don't care. They, they just haters. Like. Is that something? Because, you know, I think that a lot of people, they, they, they'll they go to jail to come out and, you know, they don't necessarily change their um, their habits. Yeah. Their circle. Yeah. Is that something, like, when you're, when you're in there thinking about, like, shit, when I get out, I got to reevaluate this, 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 and oh, this? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. It's a lot of people. I'm dealing with that right now. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. That's all I was thinking about. Who to keep around, who not to keep around, how it's going to be. I just didn't know it was going to be like this when I got out. Like, people was telling me in jail, like, you don't know. Like, it will be people that just came in jail. Like, you don't know, bro. Like, you know, you think you know, like, but you don't know how it's going to be when you get out. Like, you, like, it, it's a whole different, like, you way bigger than what you think, bro. You just been in jail for a long time, so you don't know. Then when I got out, I was like, wow, it is different, like. Crazy now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, gifted and curse, right? You going to jail almost added to like the allure of 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 your of of you as an artist. Yeah, pretty much. Kind of like when Boozy got out, he was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it just added to, yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Like, and I think also your, your the circumstances of your case, yeah, that too, were very. It felt like some bullshit. Yeah. It was so some even bullshit. people who necessarily weren't tapped in with your music when they found out about what was going on, they were like, "Yo, this is crazy!" Like yeah. people were just rooting for you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There's a lot of people who wasn't though. <laughs> a lot of people who wasn't rooting for me. Me, yeah. who who wasn't rooting for you? I'm not saying to say names, but like who, like uh, the older dudes, <laughs> the people that have been in the game for a minute. You talking about LA that. rappers? Yep, <laughs> that's fair. I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, um, the what what do you think? Because it was this judge that was really she had like a vendetta Ooh, for you, right? She was crazy. She did not like me at all. I don't know what it was like. Maybe because I was a rapper. Because she told me that in court. Like, I don't know if you think because you're a rapper. Like, you don't got to listen to the rules. I'm like, you could have just said this for the jump. Don't make it seem like you don't like me, bro. Like, It's almost whatever. like they were setting an example or some shit. Pretty much. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. I mean, I was, yeah, I still was trying. It didn't work, though. So then she got bounced, right, in the election? Is that what happened? That's the DA. Yeah, it's so she, she got, or the, the it was the DA. It was the, the DA and the judge. The DA and the judge. Yeah. But, but once the election happened... Yeah, she got kicked the boot. It almost happened like simultaneously. It was yeah. like the election happened, and then it was like, "Oh, he's coming home." Yeah, Shit. pretty much. Yeah, all of a sudden, that's, they had a deal. All of a sudden, you can go home right now. I'm like, after all this, like, y'all could have been let me go. Like, right, right, right. How many? Um, you know, it's crazy because in in the music industry, we have a lot of people who are acquaintances. Yeah, <laughs> very few people who are real friends. Yeah, right. Yeah, you make music with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, who was checking in on you the most while you were locked up on the, in the hip hop community? Outside, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, artist wise, Shy Glizzy, All um, Black, Oh Jeezy. Uh, yeah, nobody else besides like nah, just them. A oh, little Yachty, a hey, little Yachty. Not nobody else. So. Yo, Yachty is always tapped in, bro. Yeah, <laughs> and he's on the album. Yeah, he on there. Were you you guys you guys had a relationship prior to Yeah, I was, I was yeah, I was fucking with him. Yeah. That's my boy. <laughs> Yo, um what 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 date did you get locked up? January 6th, 2018. <laughs> it's crazy how many people's careers are over since then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah a Ain't lot that of people, crazy? A lot of people came and went. Came yeah. and went in 2 uh, years. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, 
You can only be, you can only make so many memes out of you before you get tired of that. Like before the music has to catch yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, like, like the music you know, got to be good eventually. Yeah, at some point, it's like, all right, it's, it was funny. Now it's, it jokes up, it's right? Over. Well, right. is that something for you? Like getting out and and, and this there now there's TikTok. Yeah, like now there's that trailer. type of stuff. Like, yeah, like this I'm is like, shit that wasn't going on yeah. when you went in. That's what made me. I like, damn, do I got to be like a dancer, nigga, to get on? Like, what's <laughs> going on? Like, because every person that I didn't heard of, like, I didn't heard their song. Like, it'd be hard. And then I found that they got to dance to it, and that's what blew it up. Like, man, I'm not a dancer, bro. Like, uh, it's like, and like TikTok yeah. is like the one app that, like, if you're like a real one, you pr- yeah. like, you're like, dog, that's goofy. Yeah, like. like I mean, I made one just because they made no, you me gotta make, make one, one. But I was just right, like, right, 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 right. All right, bro. Like, uh, TikTok. Yeah, it's crazy. What, what What is the one thing that changed since you went in? Like, since you got out, whether it's TikTok or the industry or whatever that, like, surprised you the most when you got out? Man, this COVID-19 shit, man. I, I didn't know it was this serious with the mask and all that. Like, they really, like, I was in a Beverly Center. They're like, you have to put your mask on. I'm like, it is on. I just pulled it down to drink something, bro. Like, hey, it was tripping on me. It was ready to kick me out the mall. I was like, bro, Jeez. this is not this serious, bro. Like, so in jail, they weren't like. No, all they would do was, like, quarantine, like, the whole row. And then in two weeks later, it's like, okay, you guys are all cool now. Like, I'm like, they, like right. they didn't test you? Yeah, they tested everybody. They put shit up your nose? Yeah, that, that shit hurt. Oh, yeah. that shit is like a brain tickle. Yeah, bro. I was like, all right, when I seen it on the commercial, I'm like, I didn't think it was like that, but they stuck it all the way up there. I'm like, oh, no. I started pulling back. It was stuck in there. Right, nah. I've never done cocaine, but I just assumed that that might be what it feels like. Yeah, to, nah. Yeah, I've I'm never, not th- I've never put nothing in my nose. Yeah, nah, I was scared. But I when, like I did, that. when I did that, I was like, this must what it be like to sniff a line or something, because yeah. that shit sucks. <laughs> yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yo, um... So before you went in, uh, you were you obviously there's a, a very public beef between you and RJ. Not no more. We Not cool. no more. I was gonna ask you, yeah. man. Uh-huh. RJ is a nice guy. Yeah, hey, we good now. You guys, you guys uh-huh. got past that. Yeah, I mean, we got past it before I went to jail. I so I don't know. What, I don't know. I guess that was the only thing they could use in my case. I don't know to make it look like something. I guess. I How know. dope was the uh, moment? Were you in jail when him and Greedo did their show? Yeah. Did you hear about it when yeah. you were in jail? I'm the one told Greedo to do it. I told him don't take it, don't take it for. It's not gonna go nowhere. Like make some money off it if you're gonna do it. Then they had the show. <laughs> so, yeah. Was that dope to see? Like, cause that was a. I think that's gonna like in ten years, twenty years from now, that's gonna be one of those moments in LA hip hop history yeah. that we might not have known how special it was. Yeah, it's but the cool. fact that those two crews were on stage at the same time, yeah. I guess that nothing was like, happened. It was peaceful. Yeah, that's like I guess that was like the first verses. Then, if you want, it was like, the first verses. Like if you want to be technical, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, that's real. What about with Greedo? Uh, do you, do you keep in contact with him? Right, write him. Yeah, I already talking to him. How's he doing? How's his spirits? He's straight. I was talking to him in jail. I stopped talking to him because he said I was getting him in trouble. So I stopped you, talking you, to him. Were you guys in the same jail? Uh, uh, he in Texas, but I don't know. I guess he said he got in trouble because they knew. I don't know. They said they knew that he was on another jail car or something. I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know. Do they still do the thing in jail? Because all my cousins are in prison, and they would, to do three ways, they used to, like, yell on the phone, like, for a while to, like, just, like confuse the phone lines. And then patch someone in on three way. Do they still do that? Nah, you don't got to do that no more. You could just call have somebody else call them on a three way. Nah, man, that must have been a long, long time ago man. they was doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because they, they used about, to do. Yeah, you know, he knows. You, yeah, if you try to dial another number on, it's not gonna get. They stopped doing that. You could just call now. That was like six years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, now when I was like, I remember my cousin used to just hit my phone and be like, "Yo, look, I got my celly. He's gonna three way his baby mama." She's gonna give you some money. You are gonna send it to me, but I'm, a, I'm a, I gotta make this noise. And it, it, yeah, sometimes they're blowing the phone or something. Yep, they blowing so the phone. So you won't know hear the buttons that they dialing yeah, yeah, yeah. doing the three way. So being locked up, you are you a celebrity in jail? Oh yeah, for sure. It's more than the streets. You running into all the people that all the people that comment on your pictures and stuff. They be like, I was at this show. I was doing this. I commented on your picture on this day, but you never know because it's jail, so you don't think like people be groupies like that. Is that a um? Is it a good thing to be in your position like that? Like it's good and bad because you might have like the people that don't like you. It's easy to like if you're gonna walk the main line, it's easy for people to get you. Then you got the people that like you, you got the police that like you, but then you got the police that don't like you. So, yeah, it's kind of half and half. Was there guards that would like look out for you? Yeah, it's, you know, it's a bunch of them. 
It was like two or three that didn't like me. I don't know what it was, but well, most because uh, there's there's the cool guards who because it's not a bad career, you know, yeah. you make it a decent check, and yeah. then there's the ones who are like it, they put out they take out all their aggression yeah. on the prisoners because they're either racist yeah. or they hate their life, yeah, or you know they bitch getting fucked by exactly they working whatever all these shifts and overtime and they take guard. it out on you, yeah, because they mad. Then yeah. you, got, you got the ones that that just. There just because it's a job. They don't even care about the job. It's just a good paying job. So they're like, all right, whatever, bro. I listen to your music. Like, all right, that's cool. Sometimes you got the ones that act like they listen to your music, who they know who you are, but they don't really fuck with you. Right? It's a lot of those, too. That's so funny. Yeah. Yo, the thing that you uh, you just mentioned in it, uh, I think it was a No Jumper, but you talked about how Soldier Boy was locked up there in, oh, P- yeah. in PC. Yeah, he was in PC. For people who don't know, that's protective custody. Yeah, that's what so he was. usually PC is child molesters. Yep, uh, uh, like sex offenders, sex offenders, child molesters, green if you lighters, rape, people yeah. don't want to like, right? Snitches, yeah, etc. <laughs> Who wants to be housed with them? Like, that's what's confusing to me, right? Because yeah. you, if you're in that position, you almost have to ask for that or fight for that, or, or do you think that the, the jail realized nah, we got to put him over here because he's soldier that. boy? I don't do that. Chris Brown wasn't in PC, so <laughs> why was he in PC? Like the fuck. Chris Brown wasn't in PC. No. <laughs> hey, Chris Brown, a real one, low key. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So what is uh, <laughs> like? And he's like a like a R and B pop dude. So how if he didn't go to PC? What is his excuse? If he's big Draco, gangster rapper, whatever, then he's supposed to be killed a nigga before. Like, bro, fuck, crazy. It's anyway. funny because you were in jail during his whole entire like sixty day. Re- re- yeah, I like, was there. Like, I used to hear like him whining. His, his career got revamped for about two months. Yeah, and then like you said, it was just a meme thing. Yeah, it was really just a meme moment, and then the meme was over. And you know, that's how it is, man. You know, I, I didn't realize it's like that with this rap shit. Like people do anything to get attention. It's like they just do. Like I didn't think it really was like that till I started seeing like. Damn, like people really just start beefs because they like about to put out a mixtape or album or something like, bro. Like, it's not that serious. If you popping, you popping. Like, whatever. Take some time. Tiger came back. Anybody, hey, if Tiger came <laughs> back, I tell this right. man, you're just one hit away. Yeah. Because f- people counted that man out. That's what I'm saying. And I heard six, you, seven songs hey, on the radio. You, when you went to jail, it man. was over for Tiger. Yeah. That's- <laughs> I heard this shit on the radio. I, what was that? That taste. That I was like, taste. Oh, this, oh yeah, this. Okay, I like this. Uh, then I started hearing back to back stuff. I was like, oh, wow, my God, that guy. That guy had. A, he's, he's been having a run. Yeah, yeah, he's been having a run for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Tiger. Uh, yeah. Let Let me ask you this. I, I I saw that you back in the day had, were you had a relationship with Mustard? He had tried to sign you. Yeah. You would essentially kind of obviously didn't go that way. Yeah. Nah. Um, what's your relationship with him now? I feel like Mustard's evolved a lot. Yeah, as far as because I feel like you know back in the day he had some issues with some people in the city, yeah. and I feel like he's gotten past a lot of those issues. Yeah. Um, and any uh, has he tapped in with you since you got straight? Out? I talked to him. I was like, ain't no hard feelings. You straight? And he just told me about to just stay out the way, shit like that. Like, I'm like, yeah, I know that. Other than that, like, we cool. I ain't got no problems with him. I'm cool with everybody, man. I don't be for nobody. I'm that's, straight. Hey, that's good, man. <laughs> yeah, that's how you stay out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty much. Because I figured it out. Like, I was talking to my brother and people. they just like, we starting to think, like, people just want to beef with you on purpose so you can go back to jail again and they mm-hmm. can get their little shine. Then I started thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, that might be, that might be true. Because like, I wasn't getting out talking shit to nobody. I mean, I talk shit all the time, but... I wasn't just getting out, just talking. I started seeing people come for me. I started seeing people subbing me. I'm like, damn, you would think people would be happy. Like, I didn't tell on nobody. I beat the death penalty. I put a lot of, like, I'm the reason a lot of people feeding their kids. They got on when I was in jail off of my shit, bro. Like, everyone right, knows right, this. Right, right. It's not a secret. It's my shit. But, you know, I guess people are unappreciative. Uh, and then whatever. it's almost like, imagine if, like, Tupac came back in the year 2000. It would just be fucked up for like Ja Rule and like a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait a minute, the uh, real one is here. Oh uh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? The nose ring and all that. <laughs> like, imagine if like out of nowhere, Tupac just dropped dropped back to earth in the year 2000. It would have been rough out here for a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, I don't know if you would have made it in 2020 though. It's a whole different world now. You're right. It's a different world. 
They put everything on the internet. Everything is like, uh, I can't get on live or none of that. Every time I get on live, it's on YouTube. They snatch everything I do down. Yeah, they probably had half the songs already on YouTube before they came out. Like, whatever. Yo, we're uh, breaking down this video. We're not breaking it down. We're taking a break in the video to tell y'all about our sponsors, Odd Socks. All right, listen, man, uh, oddsocksofficial.com. What the fuck was that, bro? Uh, it was like a fucking Pomeranian hair floating in the air. Anyway, oddsocksofficial.com. <laughs> Keyword bootleg Kev. Go over there, get you some socks, and you'll save 20% off if you use that keyword. They got South Park license. They got some Ghostbusters, Pimp C, Mike Tyson. Really, the one that I really care about is they got that WWE license. So you can get these awesome NWO socks. And then they got their Odd Socks Basics. You know, for all the basic bitches, get you some basic socks, even though they are very comfortable. Uh, they're probably the most comfortable socks. Actually, not probably, definitively the most comfortable socks I've ever put on my feet. Yes. All right. And that goes for all types of socks. So go to oddsocksofficial.com, get some socks. By the way, SpongeBob socks, they're, they're kind of fly, right? Christmas time's on the way. Use the keyword bootleg Kev, 20% off oddsocksofficial.com. Support us by supporting Odd Socks. Let's go. I wanted to talk to you about your delivery, man. Uh-huh. Your delivery is so unique. Yeah, it's one of a kind. It is definitely one of a kind. <laughs> I want to, like, as a rapper... Where do you, do you draw inspiration from as an MC? Uh, I'm not really inspired by nobody, but it was people I listened to. Like, okay, is she cool? Like, I like the Rocco. He like, yeah, he was cool. He had Rocco? Like, delivery, Atlanta. He, Shout out to Rocco. A lot of him. people don't know he signed Future. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, him, I like the Young Joe. He had, he was cold. Young Joe so slept. His album yeah. he dropped that first album with yeah. uh with with Grand Hustle was so slept on. I like people with that rubber slang. but boy you know, that shit was crazy. And then I was this battle rapper. Nobody really know about him because it was oh his name was like Jungle Cocky or something. He was he he kind of made me start rapping. I was like, oh you can say like crazy stuff and still be calm with it and don't be yelling. It, it, he be saying some crazy. Yeah, because you have a very like, like um, your flow is very relaxing. Yeah. It's like it's it's like it's very easy to digest. Yeah. You know what it, I'm saying? It's like so many people be yelling in the studio and all this, and I'm like, I'm the type of person, like, even in real life, I'm not going to be yelling, going back and forth with you to get my point across. So I was like, I'll, I'll just rap like that. like, And I want people to be like, dang, how did he just say something so crazy and just say it so calm? Like, or like, I don't know. Are you, uh, were you born, like, out, were you originally born out here? Yeah. So you were born I've been and raised here, here my whole life. Your whole <laughs> life. A lot of, a lot of Atlanta influence, though. Yeah. Uh, I guess no. Nah, Shit, Rock. Really, Rock I mean, Rocco. Yeah, they from yeah they from my Dro? Dro, I guess, but uh, they ain't really influenced me. I just like like okay, they cool like. Uh, yeah, Young Dro needs his flowers, man. Dro yeah. Dro slept on, bro. Yeah, Dro's a cold guy, dude. For real, for real. Put a mic there, closer. Oh, Ooh. just turn it. Yeah, it's all, all good. Right. All right. Um. Yeah, that's the one thing. Like, I think that you're like, like you said. I think that there are there have been some people that have. Try to do what you do. Yeah, it don't. They can't do it though. But like, you're it's very. Like, it's it's yeah, just it's, like a one of a kind. Is that's the way you do it? Like, it's like know. a Chrysler 300 and a Bentley. Yeah, pretty much. By the way, I have a Chrysler 300. Yeah. It's paid off. No uh, car payment. It's like Ford and Ferrari. Like right, 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 right. <laughs> that's fair. Um, do you have like when you're like, when you're locked up? Right, you gotta help me understand this because what like how did you entertain yourself throughout the day? As far as your free time, was it meditating? Was it reading? Because you guys don't got the internet and shit out over there. Nah, reading. Or I have people playing music on the phone. We watch like different. Technically, TV the phone's shit. contraband, right? Yeah, yeah, nah, but like on a uh, regular phone. Right, 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 right. Oh, so people would play you some shit over the phone. Yeah, over the phone. So that's how I know about a lot of stuff. Yo, what's the worst song you heard over the phone? Oh, a song that I really just did. It, like it was, you were like, I wait, that's it. what's it. Uh, no, no, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> give, me a, give me a hint. Let me I'm guess. not gonna go there, bro. Let me guess. <laughs> Look, bro, because I'm not, we're not, we're not, we're not, I'm not even with all that, so I'm not even gonna go there, bro. Because <laughs> there's been a lot of shit that came out since you got locked up that you're like, hmm, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I was just, it's from LA though, so that's all. <laughs> Oh, I have an idea who it is. <laughs> Woo! I know the truth. 
Let me see. I have an idea who it is. It's crazy. That's a tall guy. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Woo, boy, he's listen. a nice guy. Yeah, I mean you that's know. why I don't do all that. I didn't like it though. That's fair. Shout out to. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I don't care. I don't shit, whatever. I don't. I just he cool though. He get money. I just grabbed though. that out of thin air, didn't I? Yeah, he get money though. So that's no, cool. no. That's all, that's all that matters. He got a, he got a nice head on his shoulder. Yeah, dude. he's a, he's a good. That's dude. all that matter. Um, and now like you get out, this COVID shit's booming. You can't do live shows. Were you you never really done the big tour thing, right? No, I was supposed to. I can't do yeah. right. <laughs> Yeah, it's right. crazy because now you got to like almost figure out a new, like, are you going to be doing merch? Because yeah, you that, do that merch drop, you're going to hit yeah. a lick. That too. It's out right now. Yeah, it's out right it now. is out right now. Where I can they go to buy to, the merch? Uh, what is it on, bro? It's the Hives. Uh, it's, it's the Hives backslash Draco. There we go. Yeah. The Hive backslash Draco. The Hives, yeah. I think, how you spell it though? H Y V E Z E S Are slash you, Drake. Oh yeah. Is there um you know what's dope about being independent? Like I know you're indie right now. I right? get all the money. You get all the money. Um, but I also it's I mean everyone's got to be knocking on your door trying to sign you. Oh yeah, for sure. There's a lot of people. Like, I mean they've been doing that when I was in jail. It was like right. So uh, what what will it take? What's important to you to even think about that? Because I don't think you need to sign with anybody to be honest. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm the most influential person to come out of here. Like, everybody wants to be me. I always said that. It'd be rappers that'd be like, I want to sign them. I'm too big of a rapper to be signed to another rapper. Like, I don't know. I get enough money, like, <laughs> to be like, for them to be trimming my money or giving me, fronting me some money, and then I got to pay it back. Like, how am I going to pay it back right now? Anyway, if I sign the deal, how am I going to pay that money back? Hey, you got the right. Can't do no shows. You got the right like, thought process. Bro. Like, come on, bro. I'm not. I'm not retarded. Because you know every. Like, hey, how am I gonna pay it back? Ninety nine out of a hundred like, people will go to that fr- upfront bag. Yeah. And worry about the rest. It's later. like all them people that signed all them deals not in debt now. Yeah. You can't do no shows. They didn't front front into all this what? money. And then and then you like, ain't making money off your music because you yeah, ain't recouped. Come on. So I hope you held on to that event. Yeah. And no, they didn't. And they did. <laughs> they for sure did it. They did not. That shit crazy. That shit is crazy. Uh, I saw your auntie was in here. Oh, yeah. She's an integral part of your career. Yeah. How important is it to keep everything close and in the family, man? I mean, it's, it's I don't know. You got to keep them close because. It's a lot of people like I just she was there the whole time I was in jail, so that's why I always got her around. But I don't know, it's a lot. Of, yeah, it's a lot of stuff going on. You got to keep people you trust around because I didn't have people steal money from me all type of shit when I was in jail. So people were stealing from you while you were in jail. What? <laughs> in what? Like in what capacity? Because like 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 you know, you're yeah. locked up. You have you got. I mean, I'm assuming there's some li- yeah. li- liquidity somewhere. Yeah, people. I'm letting people. You know. People who you trusted. People I'm trusted. Use my car. Pull out money. Handle things for me. Oh, they was shit. pulling out money out of your cards. Yep. Pulling out shit. So you get out of jail. You Then you, you're like expecting you got a certain amount of money in the bank. Yeah. And that like, too. But I had two. I had like a business account or other one. So I was expecting to get some money from the homie. And, oh, yeah. Go put this out for me. Hey, damn, bro. For real. $20,000, huh? So twenty bands is missing. Yeah, luckily I'm a different person now. So yeah, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Hey, but the eyes are on you right now, yeah. so you might want to. You know, <laughs> it might be it might be a twenty thousand dollar L worth <laughs> taking, bro. <laughs> I'm changed. Safe to say, those people aren't around anymore. No, they're not. Damn, <laughs> I can only imagine, bro. Hey, exactly. Like, hey, you know what's, what? Let me ask you this, man. It was looking kind of grim for you for a minute. Were you, did you ever go through any sort of phase of being depressed while you were locked up? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I was fighting the death penalty. Like, you don't know, like, it's always, like, you hear people fight stuff like that, so you'll never be, like, you never think you're going to be that person. You sitting there and somebody say that, you're like, whoo, glad that's not me. Then when you're that person and you don't know, when you're just going to court just to go to court, you don't know what's going on and not offering you no deal, like, you it, it, it get crazy sometimes. You get to wondering, like, damn, am I ever going to get out? Right. Or even if I do get out, am I still going to be relevant when I get out? Is it even going to matter? Who wants to get out of jail when they 40-something? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. How, how, how I'm going to be a rapper at 40 something. Right. Bro, like, come on, bro. Luckily, like, I'm probably, I'm, I'm going to be the biggest rapper ever to come out. Because I'm the youngest. Like, everybody that went through, like, you? I'm 27. I just turned 27. Okay. So, like, everybody, Gucci, man, all them people, when they was going through their stuff, they was all older than me when they got out and started booming. Right, right, right. I'm right. still in my 20s. So, I give it, like, five more years, and I'm going to try to do something else, maybe. Like Since you've been too. out, uh, you got some dope features on the project, obviously. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it's dope you you and Stupid Young linked up. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he's somebody That's who, my boy. I know. I've been He's him. great. Yeah, I've been, I knew him from jail, though. Yeah, he's a good <laughs> dude, man. Yeah. Um Alex. Who has who Alex. has tapped in with you uh since you've been out that 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 you know there's like y- your story was very high profile. Yeah. So a lot of people knew what was going on. So yeah. has there been any artists that have tapped out since you got out to try to work? Oh yeah, uh Rowdy hit me. Uh like a lot of people that have been hitting me though, like uh Jay Critch, uh who was uh it's so many people. Um, the what's the uh, the made in Tokyo? Oh yeah, yeah, he's a homie. Yeah. Uh, um, a lot of people like Rich and them, but I already had songs with them. How crazy was it to what witness Roddy's uh ascension to stardom while you were locked up? Yeah, that's just crazy. Cause right? I was like, because when you when you I think when you got when you got locked up, he was making some noise. Yeah, he was. Yeah, but he like, was bubbling. He was like, yeah, but, but he it wasn't was, like. He I mean, come on, man. Style around that time now. He's one of the biggest artists on the planet. Yeah, now. I seen it. Yeah, I heard the box, but I I knew that song was gonna blow up when I heard it. I was like, that's your heart. So is there gonna be a Roddy record coming? I don't know, man. You gotta ask him. <laughs> That'd be big for the city, man. Yeah, that'd be you know, big, bro. I just be focusing on what I got going on. Cause worried about what other people got going, that shit gonna stress you out and throw you off your game. You gotta worry about yourself. That's why I am. The T I am Grizzly right now. feature was dope too. Oh, I yeah, think I, yeah, he cool. He, T he's Grizzly, a real he's another one of those guys who talks yeah. that talk. Yeah, he's a real stream. Did you ever work with Mozzie before you got locked up? Yeah, no, he was on my second second mixtape. He was on there. A lot of people don't know though, but he was on there. Like, I'm it's crazy because I feel like now, like with you being independent, like there's been this trend. You're indie. Link yeah. up with another independent artist. Drop a whole project. Yeah, pretty much. I'm trying to do some Maria. You got to drop a tape. Fire. Yeah. He's yeah. funny. He's not about the only person that I think could fuck with me. Or just on, on a whole. Just, on the whole. Just let's talk shit. This is what I do, bro. I, I do this all day. So. Did you have it? Were you like a. You know what's crazy? Because when I hear you, I, I guess I'm like. I feel like you. Like, did you ever listen to Sugar Free when you was growing up? Not like that, but he is funny as hell. I, I started listening to this shit in prison. I was like, wow. This he was funny. saying, yo, it's yeah. so crazy to yeah. think. That yeah. Sugar Free couldn't exist in 2020. They'd have canceled him. Yeah. Oh, They'd have crazy. canceled his ass. Oh, what happened? I didn't know that. No, I just mean just because he was talking about all kind of why You can't say the shit he was saying in oh, 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These motherfuckers. Yo, you know what's crazy? Is since you've been out, there's this new shit. It was always around, but bigger than ever, there's this cancel culture shit. Yeah, that's weird. Right. So no matter what you do, you could they'll dig up an old tweet. Yeah, I heard about it. I, I I was seeing that shit on TV. I didn't think it was real though. Oh, it's real. Yeah, I seen it was doing it to a lot of people. Bro, they yeah. just tried to cancel Sada Baby for like five year old tweets, like shit. It's like Ooh, bro, look like I gotta delete some shit. Dude. You might want to dig in, uh, <laughs> wipe that shit clean. Oh man, because they man, it's it, there's people out here whose whole life they're just waiting to be offended on the internet. Yeah, I know, I know, I had to. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. So your situation, are you on probation? Or are you totally st- Yeah, I'm on probation, but I'm not I don't got to check in or nothing. So, so it's not it's unsupervised. Yeah, pretty much. How long is, is how long? 5 years. 5 yeah, years. That's a long time, ain't it? <laughs> 5 years. It's crazy. That shit is damn. Long time. But at least it's unsupervised. Yeah. When everything opens back up, hopefully that you know, that Ooh, I don't know how that's going to go. Is it going to be the type of probation where you got to get permission to leave the state type shit? I mean, yeah, but I don't. I don't think they tripping like that because they wasn't even tripping before. They just want me to get catch a charge. That's what they want. I don't think they tripping off nothing like that. Yeah, hopefully they just kind of moved on. Like, all right, you know what? We tried. Yeah, pretty much. I would hope we got to let them out now. Yeah, but I know they watching me though for sure. They watching me. Yeah, just be smart, man. You know, Casanova just got those Rico charges. Man, I seen that. I seen G Herbo too. G Herbo had to turn That's himself crazy. in on some fraud shit. But that Rico he ain't gonna get nothing for that though. Yeah, but the Rico shit is yeah. That's that's like the six nine shit. Uh, that's uh, that's life. That carry life. Yo, I gotta get your perspective. You know, it's funny because you mentioned six nine. I gotta just get your perspective <laughs> as as because you were in jail throughout his whole sh- his whole entire yeah. shit. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the highs, yeah. him getting locked up and then him get out and snitching. Yeah, like, shit crazy. Like, what, like that shit is, it's crazy yeah, to even it fathom that that even happened. I mean, but what do you expect from a nigga with rainbow hair, bro? Like, I don't he like was he, funny though. I ain't gonna lie. I give it to you. He was funny. I liked it. That he shit. mastered the like, internet. He was funny. Yeah, he was funny. No one has mastered the internet and the trolling better. Now, mind you, he, yeah, was, he was doing funny. some dangerous shit. Yeah, he was. But you can't. You can't do that. You can only do that to a certain extent. You can do all that if you're really from the streets and you really like a street nigga. But if you're not like that, it's gonna always come back to bite you. Like me, I'm from the streets, so I talk shit. That's cool. But whatever. I'm not in the same position as him. He had to pay people and all that type of shit to hang around him. I don't pay people to hang around me. I grew up with all these people. Right, 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 right. Um, so it's different. I'm these people's ticket out of the game, so I don't think people want to play with me like that. But I'm not nobody like when that. When you say that, <laughs> about, there's a lot of people to, who, who, unfortunately, they do have to come to L.A. Yeah. And they have to pay a tax. Yeah, you? for sure. Right? I'm not one of those people, but that's only like out of towner people. No, I'm, I'm like, saying yeah, out, out of town. They got to right? check in. I mean, that, that's anywhere though. But, but we, but, I guess, but, out here is just stricter. Like, but I want to ask you this, right? Because does everyone need to check in, or only people who have that street persona when they come to LA? Like, yeah, if you're it's, like it's, a gangster rapper yeah. and you come to LA or Detroit, you got to check in with certain people. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah. if it's like logic, like does lo like logic does probably doesn't need, like. Post I'm pretty about, sure they gonna get up on them too. All right. Uh, now, nah, if you somebody like Dirk or Thug or somebody, I, Those, they're not going for that. Right, right, right. 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 But uh, other the other people, oh yeah, they gotta pay. For I think sure. I think too, like a lot of people don't realize, like yo, man, like you can't just let your guard down out here. You can't. No matter, cause I mean, you know, rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Yeah, yeah that's, like he uh, was in the hills, bro. Yeah, exactly. Good kid. Can't trust nobody. Can't trust nobody, bro. Yeah. And and a lot of people we've lost since you've been locked up. Yeah. Ex, like yeah. lots of people. I like the history too. And uh I think, you know, for for you, you know, being on probation and and and, and, and I think it's dope that you got a second chance, man. Pretty much. It yeah. seems like you got your your you know, you got your head in the right place to it go on there. a to go on a big run. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I don't got nothing to do anybody but to record. It's nothing nowhere to go. So all I can do is make music, and since I'm independent, I'm going to get all that money, so, yeah. There it nice. is, man. <laughs> hey, how many unreleased, TK, how many unreleased Greedo songs are there still in the cut? I told you that I was going to. How many? Man. Like 1,400. I knew it, I knew it, because he do at least 1, like 1,900 songs today. So cool. Hey, yo, I feel like you got to grab like 10 of them and do the the the, the, the Greedo yeah. Drago project. Yeah. That'd be big, bro. Yeah. Is that something that you guys have, have, have brainstormed about doing, like a, a project with you oh, and Greedo? I was going to do that before I came to jail, yeah. So that's something that's already in the, in the yeah, air. pretty much. Yeah. And you got 1,400 songs to choose from. <laughs> uh, uh, so if he's got 1,400 and you just cranked the album out in five days. Yeah, I'm going to catch how up. Many al how many uh, songs do you got we haven't heard? Uh, a lot. I mean, I wrote 209 songs in jail. So, like, <laughs> Jesus. I got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot. Every single song that is on my mixtape, I wrote in jail. Wow. Every single one. So, you know, most people can't write. So all you had can. to do was come out and get the beats and that's just it. go straight in, that's lay it. them down. I just that's why I tested it out with this mixtape, and apparently people like everything that I wrote in jail. Because when I wrote in jail, I visualized it as if I was on the streets. Mm. So you can't write if you in jail. Nobody want to hear that all day. People talking about jail. I don't want to hear. It. And I was in jail. So. Right, 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 right. Well, listen, man. Um, your project is out. Yeah, we know the truth. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming. A lot more coming. Hopefully, a Greedo project. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's only right. Pretty much. That's the homie. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to him, man. He's in good yeah. spirits. Yeah, free Greedo. Free, free Greedo. Uh, and uh, thank you for coming through, man. You was you're the latest rapper we've ever had for the record. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What what's up, TK? Yeah, free there we go. Free the stink team. Free kills. Free Rozzy. Free everybody. Boom. You know the truth.